I sometimes wonder how I'm alive today, considering how much Tylenol I have taken as a teenager to numb the pain from riding skateboards and bikes. Not from the dangers of sports, but from the over-the-counter drug. I also remember how much of an arrogant asshole I was. Maybe it was just a lack of morality back then, or a legitimate symptom from an over-the-counter drug. Today, we are going to talk about acetaminophen. Researchers at The Ohio State University found when you take acetaminophen to reduce your pain, you may also be decreasing your empathy for both the physical and social aches that other people experience. These findings suggest other people's pain doesn't seem to be as big of a deal to you when you've taken acetaminophen. I watched a movie called The Giver. In the movie, their society had no emotions and very simple lives that they perceived as fulfilling which is obviously easy to believe when you have no emotions. They couldn't even see color, nor did they have intimate emotional relationships with each other. Each morning they would take an injection that they were told is for their health. Turns out that injection actually suppresses emotion. I'm starting to believe that injection contained acetaminophen. Some people claim to be empaths. They are really good at picking up on someone's emotions. Maybe it's because they don't take any of the 600 plus medications that contain the most common drug in the US, which just so happens to be acetaminophen. 23% or 52 million adults in the United States consume drugs each week that contain acetaminophen. Not only does it dull physical pain, it also seems to dull psychological pain, such as when you're imagining someone else's pain or actually seeing their pain. It can even reduce the amount of joy you experience. Could this be part of why we are seeing desensitization in today's society? From another study they previously did, participants who took acetaminophen reported less strong emotions when they saw both very pleasant and very disturbing photos when compared to those who took placebos. Baldwin Way said, most people probably aren't aware of how their emotions may be impacted when they take acetaminophen. You actually may not even notice that anything is wrong. It could be you causing the problems during an argument, not someone else. Isn't there a quote something along the lines of, if you have a problem with one or two people, maybe it's them. If you have a problem with everyone, then maybe it's you. Empathy is important if you are having an argument with your spouse and you just took acetaminophen. This research suggests you might be less understanding of what you did to hurt your spouse's feelings. These researchers conducted two experiments. The first experiment involved 80 college students. None of the students knew if they were taking a placebo or the drug. Half of the students drank a liquid with 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen, and the other half drank a placebo without the drug. They waited for about an hour for the drug to take effect. They then read eight stories about people suffering different types of pain. One of the stories was about a person who suffered a knife cut down to the bone. After reading the stories, they would rate them from 1, no pain at all, to 5, worst possible pain. They also rated how much the protagonists in the stories felt hurt, wounded, and pained. The students who took acetaminophen rated the pain to be less severe compared to those who only received the placebo without the drug. The second experiment involved 114 college students. Once again, one group took a placebo and the other group took the drug. The students received four two-second blasts of white noise ranging from 75 to 105 decibels. After receiving the blast of noise, they would rate them on a scale of 1, not unpleasant at all, to 10, extremely unpleasant. They also were asked to imagine how much pain it would cause someone else put in the same situation. Once again, the results show that the placebo drug-free group thought they were unpleasant. Whereas the acetaminophen group had less pain and also reduced their empathy for anyone else experiencing the unpleasant noises. That's pretty scary. An overdose of Tylenol can cause death. It only seems plausible that these drugs could cause permanent damage, making you permanently less empathetic. There's also a study linking autism to acetaminophen, which I will talk about in another video. So basically, those taking drugs with acetaminophen don't care about others. 
before reaching for a bottle of Tylenol or any of the other acetaminophen containing drugs. Remember, it can make you less caring towards others. You may want to look for natural alternatives first. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to hit like on this video like your life depends on it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I upload a lot of health videos that you won't want to miss. Do you take any of these drugs that contain acetaminophen? What do you think about this mood dulling effect? Leave a comment below. As always, I'm Brandon Goji, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, stay motivated, you urban survivors.